keep only four designer fragrances for life and toss out the rest. I think I've seen this one done here and there a little bit and I wanted to jump in and do my own take on this one because I've done a lot of these and there have been a lot of different versions that have gone around. It seems like each time they get a bit more challenging. This time I only have four to choose from and it's just going to be for each of the different seasons, spring, summer, fall, winter, choosing one fragrance for each to keep and get rid of everything else. So my choices are always going to change for this. This is going to be based on current time as of right now, what I would choose for each season. I'm always getting in new things, I'm always testing new things, and my taste is always changing and evolving as I experience different types of fragrances. So down the road, if I were to do this video in like four or five months again, the choices would probably be quite a bit different, but I'm gonna be doing it based off of what I'm really digging right now and what I've really been enjoying. So if you like videos like this, all I ask is that you get subscribed to the channel. And if you do have any sort of interest in any of the fragrances that I talk about today, they will be linked down below in the video description as well. Let's not waste any more time. Let's go ahead and jump right into this one. We're gonna start off with the first fragrance, which is gonna be for spring. And this one I'm going with Givenchy Gentleman Cologne, one of the mini flankers this one is going to be the freshest out of all of them. If you're familiar with Givenchy Gentleman EDP, EDP Boise, uh, Absolute, those are going to be sweeter, spicier, warmer, but this one is really an appropriate cologne version. We've seen many other brands do a similar thing. There's Dior Homme Cologne, Chanel Allure Homme Sport Cologne, Eau Sauvage Cologne from Dior. A lot of brands will do that in their fragrance lines, just a very fresh, citrus forward version. And this is Givenchy's take on it for the Gentleman line. And this one is outstanding. I still remember when this one first came out, and I think it's been out for, what, two years now or something along those lines, going on three maybe? I really don't know for sure. When I smelled it, I was blown away. I'm like, that is actually really impressive because a lot of times, you could take a fragrance like this and just make it fresher and brighter and you know citrus based and musky and it may not be that exciting and that will happen a lot of times. But this one here really has something interesting. It's a little bit herbal, it's citrusy, it's got a slight sweetness in here from the iris and very musky as well. Just bright, effervescent, kind of sparkling. It just reminds me of the seasons transitioning, moving back into that warmer weather after a very cold winter. You know, you do get a little bit of that floral iris, get a little bit of an herbal note, like you're smelling the plants and everything outside, all of the greenery, because there is a green aspect to this one as well. And of course, a nice bright citrus tart pop, just giving this one a bright overall aspect. Great flanker here, very affordable as well on discounters. Shivanchi Gentleman Cologne, that's gonna be my choice for spring as of this video. Moving into summer, we have Aqua de Jo Profondo. So this one is a 2020 release, so it is still pretty new, and it worked into this video pretty quickly. I still remember last summer, I was wearing this one all the time. I really put a decent sized dent in my bottle, not this bottle, um, this is my 200 mil bottle. I believe I have a like a 125 that I got first and that bottle has a nice little dent in it because I really wore through it quite a bit. I was obsessed with it. My girlfriend loved the fragrance on me and I was hooked. You know, I was really thinking like, okay, can it really get much better than Profumo, which for me is the pinnacle of the line. They have Ascenza, which was really great, but is unfortunately discontinued now, so that one's kind of out of the picture. That one was excellent and right up there with Profumo, but since it's gone, all they really have now, aside from Profumo, is Absolute, Absolute Instinct. And those aren't really the best. Absolute Instinct is pretty good, I like that one, but Absolute just kind of gives you an Invictus bubblegummy vibe. Does smell nice, great compliment getter, but for me, isn't the most exciting. And Absolute Instinct, I found, had a little bit too much of a depth to it to where really hot summer days, it's not really gonna be the best for me. But Profondo works so well. It has this minerals, salty, kind of uh, watery, aquatic smell like you would expect from Aqua de Jo, but it's just done in a completely different way. It's really hard to describe. This is one where you need to get your nose on it. But I would say the main thing that I use to describe this one is minerals. You know, it has this mineral water, photorealistic oceanic type of smell, uh, nice orange up top, citrus in there, uh, musky. You can tell it's gonna be heavy on the aroma chemicals because they're creating some things that you just don't really find normally in perfumery, but it is very high quality. The performance on this one is excellent. Lasts you through the whole day, eight, nine plus hours. Solid projection as well. Fantastic one for the summertime. Such a fun fragrance to wear when it's really hot. 
fun, sexy, casual. Can also be dressed up a little bit as well. Like I said, for me right now, this one and Profumo are top notch in the Aqua de Joe line. And you can get this one on discounters now, which is nice because it is worth picking up and having in your collection. If you wanna start getting stocked up for the upcoming summer months, this one right here is a great place to start. Moving into fall, I ended up going with a fragrance from Prada, one that I really got into last fall. And this one is just a stunner. It surprised me how good it really is. And also it surprised me how great of a compliment getter this one is. It's a very powdery scent. And a lot of times those may not get you the best reactions with some people, whereas with other people, other types of women, you may get really good reactions. It's really just kind of you know something that depends on people's taste. But this one worked really well for me. This one is Prada Luna Rosa Black. So I do believe it is fall or early winter when I really started getting onto this one. So, you know, I haven't had it all that long. I actually did a review on this one probably a year or so ago just from a sample. And just a few months ago, I'm like, okay, I want to go ahead and get a bottle of this one just to check it out again. And I'm so glad I did. It's got tonka bean powderiness, nice amber in here, a little bit of a spiciness um, and a sweetness as well. Again, very, very powdery, not going to be for everyone, but it's a very cozy, inviting scent, which is what I think of when I think of fall. Of course, wintertime, this one would work great. And I also do think of cozy, warm fragrances. But for me, there's something about the season of fall, of autumn, where it is starting to get cold. So it's a big adjustment for you, uh, depending on where you live, of course. You're having the leaves fall. You're starting to throw on some hoodies and some jeans and you know stuff like that. And you're just going out in the fall, maybe you know walking around doing whatever it is you're doing and you know you're snuggled up with your significant other by a fire or whatever that sort of thing and you just want something cozy Prada Luna Rosa Black comes to mind for me fantastic fall fragrance one that I definitely want to have around in my collection and last fragrance for today we have my choice for winter time this is another new release so these have really kind of come in heavy here for me. Uh, last year, while we didn't get that many new fragrances, we got a decent amount, but of course, due to the circumstances, it was slowed down quite a bit. Some of them were better than others, and a couple great ones did come out of it last year. This one is Guerlain Lome IDL Extreme. Right now, my favorite from the line. I like this one better than the Eau de Parfum. I like it better than L'Intense. I like it better than the Cologne, which, you know, it's really quite different than the Cologne, but still in the same line, same ballpark for sure. And just a, such a beautiful fragrance. It's got plum, almond, and tobacco. So that plum gives it a nice fruitiness and just a different twist right up top. Immediately when you first spray it on, the tobacco just gives it this nice, spicy, warm sexiness. And of course, you get that signature almond note, which the line is famous for. Such a great blend. It's smooth, it's inviting, it's warm, has a bit of a mysterious touch about it, and the quality is through the roof. You know, Guerlain, they're going to be known for having great quality scents, and these Loam fragrances are affordable. Um, this one is on discounters now, and the price is starting to work its way down, uh, so it's a great pickup. It's a great one to get. It's not quite as low as like the Eau de Parfum, Eau de Toilette, whatever yet, but it's going to get there. I would still say, though, at the price that this one's at, it's worth a pickup. If you want to grab this one before winter comes to an end, which it's winding down, especially where I live right now, I mean, we're looking at a forecast of into the 50s now um, as, as far as I can see so I think we're kind of winding out of it but if you want to get this one and get a few wearings in before it starts to warm up where you are now's the time to do it great one for winter time this one is a must-have a stellar release easily probably my favorite release of 2020 Guerlain Loam IDL Extreme and it's also worth noting that the performance on that fragrance is incredible as well great longevity great projection same with the Prada I didn't cover that but Prada Luna Rosa Black has really good performance as well great longevity lower projection it's a bit more moderate but it will last you through the day and it's one that's better to be discovered rather than have it push out so guys that's gonna do it for me that was four fragrances for life one per season as of right now and again this is subject to change if i was to do this again it's going to be different but as of right now what I've been enjoying and what I like, these are going to be my choices if I had to only pick four and toss everything else out. So guys, let me know yours down below. What four fragrances would you keep? And if you have interest in the ones that I talked about today, the links to those will be down below in the video description as well. That's going to do it for me. Thank you so much for watching. Stay safe, stay healthy. We'll see you tomorrow with another one. Take care.